Now let's continue our tour of Denver's brand new state-of-the-art crime lab. Come on in here for just a second. This is our auditorium. Even though we're going to be conducting training sessions and information sessions that are going to be forensic in nature, we want to also open this up to the community. And so we're planning a lot of uh, educational series. We're going to go up to the third floor, administrative area for all of the um, chemistry, trace evidence, latent fingerprints, and then the executive offices. My office is over here in the, in the uh, northwest corner. I've got windows. I'm ecstatic. In the old building, if you remember, you had forensic chemistry as in the one unit with the instrumentation. And then we went down the hallway and we went into this clustered area we call trace evidence. Well, we've put them together. We're sharing instrumentation. We're giving them more space. You saw their administrative area just recently. Um, they have now space to do all of their administrative work and it's separate from their analytical work. We're going to be doing blood alcohol out of here, uh, drugs and narcotics, arson analysis, that type of thing. Once they've extracted everything, we're going to bring all of our evidence over and we're going to take it over into the instrument room. Down here is a microscope room. It has the ability to, to darken. Um, it's going to house every microscope that we have in trace evidence and forensic chemistry all in one area. The room next to it is for our scanning electron microscope and basically uh, we're, we're taking and combining the two systems we have now into one newer system. We're taking uh, two outdated instruments and creating one uh, super uh, scanning electron microscope. This is kind of a fun thing. And this is operational. But this is zero air, nitrogen, hydrogen. All of our gases will be manufactured right here. Our mass specs, they're purged. Carrier gases are is hydrogen. Normally we uh, people use helium, but we're, we're converting it over to hydrogen. But these are just different gases that actually operate our instrumentation. The old crime lab. I had four latent print examiners. They were in one room, very small room, and they had a light table that was their workspace, their lunch space. Well, what we're going to do now, that same examiner in this room, not only does he have a light table, but he's got an enormous work area that he can use, utilize however he wants to. We're still in the, in the latent, latent print unit, and a lot of their work uh, is done with super glue. And it's not piecing evidence together with super glue, but we use the fumes of super glue to develop a fingerprint on a surface. And usually it's surfaces that normally you can't develop a print on. Super glue is kind of like the wonder child of, of latent prints. And so we have different chambers. And after we leave here, we're going to go down into the basement. And I'll show you a couple of other different chambers. But what we have here is a multiple chamber, and we can use smaller items, lower chambers for a long rifle, that type of thing. But you'll notice in, well, I can't get it open now. We've got little compartments in here that we'll put the super glue into. And then when the chamber is heated and we add humidity to it, then it develops a fume inside of the chamber and whatever's hanging from these rods or whatever the case might be, the fume will actually adhere to the fingerprint and develop a hard cast on it. And it's that hard cast that we actually compare. So when we say we're going to super glue something, this is kind of what we're talking about. At the end of this room, we have a super glue chamber that's just one large chamber. Downstairs, we have a chamber that's large enough to put a car in. And then we have another chamber that's a room and that's all that it is, is the room is the chamber. So we can put doors and, and uh, couches and uh, car bumpers and stuff like that in there and actually get, develop prints off of that. Today, we don't have that ability. This is all brand new for us. We have chambers now, the small stuff, but we don't have the big capacity. We can't put a car and get it super glued. You know, so this is all good stuff. 
So we're going to go downstairs and take a look at that. Okay. Mm -hmm.